Hello, my name is Robert and I work for Thermo Fisher Scientific. Today we are going to be doing an experiment using chemistry to make slime. As the world leader in serving science, chemical manufacturing and distribution is a part of our business. We also create instruments that detect chemistry. And through these products, we enable our customers to make the world healthier, cleaner, and safer. Here are the materials you will need to complete this experiment. Paper towels, plastic bag, receivable is preferred, a plastic cup for mixing, two spoons, or a spoon and a stirring rod, food color, and now for the three key products. Liquid glue that contains PVA or polyvinyl acetate. Most craft glues and woodworking glues contain PVA. Sodium bicarbonate, commonly known as baking soda. And finally, contact lens solution. Contains the ingredients boric acid and sodium bicarbonate. Your first step will be to pour approximately four liquid ounces or 200 milliliters of glue into the plastic cup. We're gonna empty the entire container. There we go. Using a spoon, add approximately one and a half spoonfuls of baking soda and mix thoroughly. And now we'll use a spoon or a stirring rod to mix this up. Next, add two to five drops of food coloring to get the color you want. You'll mix this into the glue. Here's a little bit of yellow. And here's some red. And when we're done, we'll set this spoon aside onto our paper towel. Taking your second spoon, now we will add two spoonfuls of contact lens solution and we'll stir this into the glue until it begins to solidify. Actually turning solid already. If needed, we'll add tiny amounts of solution to make the slime less sticky. So if I feel like it's a little bit too sticky, I'll add some more contact lens solution. So at this point, we'll take the slime out of the cup and we'll begin to mash it with our hands. If I have to, I'll reach in there and get it all out. When you're done, you'll put the slime in your bag to take it home. And then, of course, you'll wash your hands with soap and water thoroughly. Slime is made from an endothermic chemical reaction, which absorbs heat energy. When the baking soda and contact lens solution mix, they create a borate ion. This ion reacts with the polyvinyl in the glue. And when this chemical reaction occurs, you will actually feel the slime get cold. This slime is also what we call a non-Newtonian fluid, which means it's neither a solid nor a liquid. You can pick the slime up like a solid, but given enough time, it will also run through your fingers like a liquid. Slime also does not have its own shape, so it can actually change to the shape of any container that it's placed in. However, depending upon its elasticity, it could also be bounced like a ball. We hope you have enjoyed learning how to do this activity and that it inspires you to come up with ideas for your own 
slime experiments.